guys welcome back thanks so much for stopping by and welcome to another fragrance review um today i've got some samples that i'm really excited to share with you can i just first say thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me um i don't do many videos and i don't have a huge knowledge of fragrances but i do get excited talking about them and i do enjoy sharing them with you guys and if I didn't have you guys listening I would be talking to the wall or my cat so thank you for keeping my sanity <laughs> but it does mean a lot to me that um, so many people have actually subscribed to me so I do thank you all for doing so and today I want to share with you some more fragrances so I've actually got four samples to share with you from two different houses the first house as you can see is Rena, Renier, I think it's Renier Renier perfumes um, and we're going to just talk about Renier just for a moment first. I've been really excited about checking out any of the fragrances from the Renier perfumes ever since I first heard about Kisses Rain mentioned on YouTube by various other other reviewers I've heard it was just something the way people talk about this fragrance I just I'm so excited to try it. Uh, Renier was actually an artist first and foremost he was an artist and when he became successful he um, decided to start perfumes and the reason that started was because when he was sculpting and using different materials he would get excited and inspired by the smells of the woods and the resins and sulfurs that he used. Each perfume that he's created was inspired by one of his paintings and his paintings are absolutely beautiful. As a painter I'm sure that Renier sees the world in a really creative unique way and I've no doubt that the fragrances he's created are just as unique and beautiful as his paintings and I, that is why I've been so excited to sample them. And so far there are, I think, six fragrances in the Renier collection. There are six available to buy on his website anyway. The first four that he created were the Rain collection. So this is actually the one that I purchased. This is the one that I um, went specifically to purchase. These two were samples that I were sort of secondary. Um, so the Kisses Rain is part of it, four. Part, this is one of four, and they're all part of the same sort of Rain selection. I think there's um, Oud Rain, Black Rain, Crystal Rain, and obviously there's this Kisses Rain. They're all very, very different. This one is the one that I just couldn't wait to try out. The other two that I've got here, this one I chose as a free sample, Delirious. And the second one is Behik. I think that's how you pronounce it. This was sent to me, so I'm grateful for that as well. So first we're going to talk about Kisses Rain. Um, you're going to have to excuse a little accident in the bathroom earlier because I'm clumsy but also don't flip your hair when you're holding a little box that's open because <laughs> this is what happens could have cried could have cried but I didn't I've already ordered another one I know I didn't need to you know decide if I liked it or not it's, it's delicious it's beautiful it's I love this fragrance so I'm straight on there and I've ordered another one um, and another good thing obviously about this website is that you can order samples a lot of websites now um, fragrance websites you, you get different size bottles but you don't always get the option to actually order a sample and these are a good five mil sample that you can order um, with the benefit of obviously being able to choose extra samples as well so that's um, that's really lovely that you can do that and it's always good to test things out obviously before you buy so really pleased about that but unfortunately the bottle is completely smashed. Kisses Rain is our, named after the painting, one of his paintings and the thing that I, the reason I wanted to do order Kisses Rain over the others is because of the mention of a really delicious almond note along with the oud, and it's a very, this is described as a, as a gourmand, gourmand oud. The notes that stand out to me at least are the almond, the oud, the rose, and the amber, and the combination of all those notes together do create this just absolutely beautiful gourmand. Um, sexy sexy fragrance and it really puts me in mind of two others that I have in my collection which are the Noir Esquie by Le Artisan and the La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier and although this isn't, isn't exactly the same as those two fragrances um, it's so similar it's similar enough to me that it, I, I can't justify buying a bottle of Kisses Rain if I had a fra discovered this fragrance before I bought the other two I would have been on this like a shot I would have bought this bottle in a heartbeat a bottle of this in a heartbeat, but um, it is very, very similar to those two in the sense that the white squee I've described as being an incredibly sexy vanilla with an absolute ton of beautiful notes that make make it this kind of resinous, sweet, almost masculine but still unisex kind of fragrance. Which this definitely embodies that in a much softer way. And also the La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier is a, a very much a gourmand van vanilla with a pear note, which makes it kind of more juicy and 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 just just 
it's really beautiful and there's something about that that I can I can sense in this one as well Kiss This Rain is just super sexy super luxurious and just super creamy with the almond and the oud is just beautiful beautiful oud it's got spiciness the amber in here is just making everything this sweet resinous kind of thing i can imagine wearing kisses rain on just a perfect autumn day in that it would be sunny but it'll be crisp and cold and you're maybe in a woodland or somewhere where you're just looking at tons of beautiful orange and brown and golden leaves all over the floor and you're wrapped up in your scarf this fragrance just completely embodies that it's like the finishing touches of what would be a, a perfect autumn day so let's move on to delirious i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly um obviously delirious is a word in english but that broken word it could be that i'm assuming it's meant to be the same and it probably isn't i don't think it's you know i'm not sure um but we're going to go with delirious because that's the only way i know how to say that word um, this I think was launched this year, I could be wrong, I read it and then I've forgotten it, I didn't write it down. But this is um, one of the newer releases along with Behik. This one caught my attention purely because of the bottle design. The bottle designs in this range are beautiful and designed by the man himself, Renier. Being obviously an artist, he of course would have designed his own bottles. They're very classy, they're very, very beautiful. And this particular one is a, a gorgeous green, kind of like an olive green bottle. And it's, I just love it. It really caught my eye and I just really love the bottle for whatever reason. Reading the notes for Delirious, there are so many interesting things happening in this fragrance. Delirious is said to represent peace and balance. That's what it says on the website. And again, like the others, it has... Um, been created because of a piece of artwork the artwork is actually my favorite out of all the others that i've seen it's a very beautiful white butterfly sitting on a paintbrush which is obviously very apt and it's just very soft it's very very beautiful and the actual fragrance itself has been inspired by the cuban flower the ginger lily delirious is a really unusual kind of unique scent there's a lot of notes here that i just have no experience of but there also are quite a few that i can imagine how they would how they would smell and this kind of opens up and reveals this just complex but green 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 fragrance it's 10 out of 10 for greenness but in the, in the nicest way you know um i think there's there's two notes in here which should be taken very literally and that is the wet earth and the dewy foliage because this fragrance really is giving you this, this dewy, damp, but very invigorating experience. It's, I, there's a magnolia in here, I can definitely, I can definitely detect magnolia. But what I love about it is the, it's like a, you can put in mind like a damp garden, but of tropical vegetation. I don't know if that sounds appealing to you, but it really is really unusual, but it's, it, it is really kind of beautiful as well. Um, tropical vegetation because I don't want you to think of you know damp carrots or something but the tropicalness gives it a beauty and the dampness here just keeps it kind of well moist I suppose <laughs> in terms of it not being a dry scent it's a very dewy 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 scent the florals I think just soften out the edges but the grapefruit has a real bright sharpness that's just on top of it so it doesn't kind of fall too flat it's very well rounded. This is a lovely unisex scent. It's possibly leaning, slightly mature. It's it's bright, it's fresh, it's invigorating. It's like a spring day after the rain. Next we're gonna talk about Bahik. I'm really excited to talk to you about this one. At the same time, I'm kind of protective of the experience that I kind of don't want to share as well. There's something about this fragrance that just completely got me. Now, as far as I can see that's written, it, it hasn't been named after a piece of artwork this is actually inspired by something else there is a piece of artwork that goes with this but I think it came afterwards so the fragrance has inspired the, inspired the painting uh, this time around the fragrance actually has been inspired by the experiences of a Tanio Indian wizard or shaman it, it says on the website the scent for a man who dominates the secrets of nature is the perfume of experience and wisdom so this has been marketed towards men but it also says on the website that this is a perfume that does not choose, you do not choose, but the perfume chooses you. Now, I'm not a man, but I have to say, 
I feel completely bewitched by this scent. It instantly put me in mind of a kind of primitive man, way before our modern times, who just is the essence of the forest or the earth or something dark but really masculine and like a hunter something like that that just drags the kind of essence of, 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 of the, the earth and the forest behind them i read a lot of fantasy books so just go with me here <laughs> i'm not losing the plot but it kind of did and i visualized this kind of rich black tar or some sort of rich syrupy fluid that was like diesel or petrol or i don't know something that was just you know something like that but with this sharpness cutting through it but something about it was just so alpha male but in a non-modern sense you know this is how i want a man to smell assuming that you know he's he he kind of represents the actual fragrance itself you know just dark and just oh i don't know it's so gorgeous oh my god so of course reading up about the inspiration behind this fragrance was just spooky because i'd already thought of this weird spirit this kind of dark spirit of a man and of course this fragrance is based around a shaman of the, of the Indian tribe and, and the artwork that goes with it is this beautiful piece of art of a, I guess a spirit over a fire and you've got sort of tri Indian tribesmen dancing around the flames and it's just the perfect image. Before I read all the notes I would have sworn there was lime in here, a huge burst of lime that's just kind of hovering over this darkness. But there isn't any lime in here. This takes itself, you know, really seriously. There's no, there's no shine away from this fragrance. If I was to walk past someone wearing this fragrance, I would have to just follow them home. <laughs> I just, I just don't think I could just ignore someone that's wearing this fragrance. Um, I'd love to hear more people talk about this, especially men. They, you know, to see what they think of it. Certainly from a woman's perspective, um, for me anyway. Like I say, I don't think this is for everybody. I think this is just. You know, I don't think this is for the mass, it's not a mass market thing here. This is for a specific um, type of person. And for me, at least, I think it's sexy as hell and it's deep. It's absolute magic, but dark magic, sexy magic. And it's all mine. So now that I've finished gushing <laughs> about Renia perfumes, let's take a look at my fourth sample. I was very lucky to receive the new fragrance from Decita. Whoa. This is Le Pavillon Dior. Let's focus. And this is their latest acquisition. And like Renier, Cita perfumes also have lovely stories behind them. Uh, hers particularly is her father, and he wrote, used to write poetry. And her perfumes are named. Each each perfume has a dedication to each of the poems that he wrote. And this is one of them. And again, it always has artwork. And I just, I love, I do love a perfume that has a story behind it. It just brings it to life and helps you appreciate the experience that went into making the perfume. This sample was sent to me by the Paris branch of Decita, so I thank you very much for that. It's classed as an aromatic oriental and it is marketed towards men and women. This is a kind of a first impression. I haven't really had much experience wearing this one just yet, so we'll go with the first, first impression and at least what, what I can smell to my nose. So straight away I can already detect the, the classic Dosita fragrance DNA. There's something, I've, I've tried at least, I think maybe six of the line. And there's something that does link them all together. There's this, there's always this just organic, natural beauty with all of her fragrances. You just feel that you're really in amongst nature, that you're actually out and you are experiencing all the things in this fragrance that are actually real. And I can smell that there are layers of different notes. But off the bat, and in a nutshell, this is this is honeysuckle in the rain. This is new, raw baby honeysuckle in the rain. It's very spring. It's very, very organic. There's, it's not it's not sugary. It's not sweet. It's just very very natural. And there is this kind of earthy, earthy quality in here as well. The honeysuckle isn't too strong. It's actually quite soft. But there is a density to, to this, which it could be the orris root, or it just could, could be that there is a just, it's very well blended with everything else happening. But a spring scent for men and women, but I think you could probably wear this in the autumn as well. Just that earthiness, that kind of, you know, that, yeah, that kind of earthy vibe, I think it makes it just as appropriate for autumn as well. But 
I think spring would be a beautiful, beautiful time to wear this. But I'm going to give it a more of a wear, get more experience with it and get a better idea. It's very pleasant. It's very easy to wear. I think on some level it, it kind of reminds me very slightly of the Laducio de Siam. It has that rich yellow flower quality to it. But without being overpowering. I think it's a lovely new addition to the uh, Decita fragrance family. And so I hope everyone else gets a chance to sample this. And I look forward to hearing other people's opinions on this as well. So that's all the fragrances, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Go and sniff it. I'm sure you're going to love it. Sniff it, please. Come here. Stop eating crisps. Come here. Sniff my hand. <laughs> come here. Just quickly. Quickly, just come and sniff. Scale of one to ten. Ten being. No, no, I'm smelling so many. <laughs> no, but you love it, right? You said you liked it. Out of all the ones you keep smelling, you actually love it. It's alright. <laughs> that means you really like it.